Kong returned to Chinese sovereignty back in 1997, the relationship is described as one country, two systems. Hong Kong is a special administrative region and retains a high level of autonomy. It has its own currency, operates under a different set of laws in the mainland. But Beijing has control of foreign relations and defense matters. And, as you heard Anna mention, it has promised universal suffrage to Hong Kong in five years. Now, right now, Hong Kong's 7 million residents do not get to vote for the chief executive. But Hong Kong University holds a simulated poll for anyone over the age of 18. Now, here is an example of the paper ballot they use. Now, people were also supposed to have the option of voting online, but organizers say the site was hacked. It's unclear who may have targeted the system. Now, voting has been extended until Saturday afternoon, and the results will then be reported to members of the election committee in hopes that the people's opinion will be considered.